Food supplies continued to arrive from Johor today despite some initial uncertainty following Malaysia's two-week partial lockdown. Supplies are holding, but shoppers say there have been price increases. Now, for more insight, we're joined by Howie Lee, an economist at OCBC Bank. Howie, you know, seeing countries implementing lockdowns and travel restrictions, how will this impact businesses relying on supplies? Well, when you look at the whole COVID-19 experience, but from the very start, it was really a uh, supply issue because when you lock down whole cities and supply can't get in and out of the factory, then you have a supply crunch. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you can only consume as much as you produce. So if the issues before COVID-19, uh, peak globalization, uh, the US China trade war, or even uh, fire manufacturing costs in China, have not prompted a rethink of uh, diversification of your resources, your factory data. I think COVID-19, whether on the retail side or the supply chain side, I think most corporates are thinking of, uh, having a rethink of their diversification uh, strategy. Howie, is there a silver lining here, though? Is it going to force companies to diversify their supply chains? We know that they've attempted uh, to get new supplies in from, from different supply chains already. Well, uh, to me, there are two silver linings uh, out of this whole episode. The first, of course, is uh, diversification, as I mentioned earlier. I think the second very important lesson that we are learning here and that we are really seeing is that cheap credit can cruelly expose companies with very weak balances. And there was a fallacy going on in the last couple of years that you know, we can hide that debt under cheap credit and keep rolling uh, the, the big debt uh, with uh, low interest rates. But I think the whole COVID-19 episode has exposed uh, errant researchers with weak balances. And I think uh, coming out of this COVID-19 experience, we should see stronger companies uh, taking advantage of uh, better opportunities and windows. You know, other than the tourism and aviation sectors, are there other sectors you expect to be hard hit in the coming months? Well, I think... Uh, I think the easier question is which sector is not going to be hit at all, rather than looking at which sector to be hard hit. Uh, the aviation sector aside, uh, we are seeing hotels uh, drawing down the designs, uh, casinos uh, asking for bailout from uh, from the from the U.S. government, uh, retailers facing a, a lack of service, manufacturers facing a lack of demand, uh, banks facing the prospect of uh, compressed net interest margins. And even then, the pain is not confined to institutions. We are seeing the pain being shifted down to the labor market. Uh, workers are forced to go on voluntary, um, uh, no pay leave. And I think overall, we don't see a, a winner uh, in this whole COVID-19. All right. Thanks for your analysis there. Howie Lee, economist at OCBC Bank.